Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be an Amazon unboxing video in my pajamas. So I was going to wait till tomorrow because I have more books coming from Amazon tomorrow. I got some today and then I have some tomorrow and then I have a book from Book Depository that's going to be coming in like a week, week and a half. So I was going to wait but then I was like I'm not going to wait because I already opened them and if I start putting them on my shelf and I got to pick them all down again to film it's not going to happen so I might as well do it now. It's been a while since so I did an unboxing slash kind of a haul video so I just could not wait. The books that I got from Amazon came in two boxes. Oh well a box and a pack. It came in a package and then it came in a regular Amazon box. The package I was a little nervous for when I got it because it's raining, it's been raining all day and it was set at my door and I felt the pack, I'm like I know this book in here is not wet. So I'm touching the pack and I'm like the pack is wet, please don't let this book be wet because it's a paperback book in here and I'm like oh my god, please don't let this be wet. If this is wet, Mommy. I'm going to scream. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Hmm? Mommy. Yeah. Okay. So the book in here, thank God when I took it out, it was not wet. It was dry. I was like, oh, thank God it's not wet. Because I really, I don't know. I would have been upset. Like, I know it would have dried, but I still would have been upset because I'm like, it's wet and I never even got to touch it yet. And it's messed up. And it, oh, But it's okay. It was safe. And the book that I'm talking about is Blinding Night by Chantel Godore, which is a book that I talked about in my October TBR, which is a book. I was supposed to get the Kindle version, and I was like, no, I'm going to buy it because I like her books. Chantel Godore is an author that she usually always contacts me to ask if I want to review her books, and I do. Um, I review Ala Lira, which I loved, and I want to get that physically too because I really, really loved it. It's a grim fairy tale retelling of the original Ala Lira, which I never heard of the original, but I like the remade one better but i want to get that physically because i really enjoyed it and it's something i can see myself reading again and want other people to read so i could be like here read this and then she also sent me between the seas and stars or between a, a, the stars and seas I, i'm gonna put it up i haven't read it yet it's sitting on my kingdom i haven't read it yet but she sent that one to me this one um, I don't remember how I heard about this. I think I seen it on, I think I, I think she posted it on Instagram and I seen it and I was like, that sounds interesting. Let me go see what this is about. And this is like a, a Greek retelling of Hades and Persephone. So it's like a dark kind of love retelling. And oh my God, like I was like so fucking excited to read this. It sounds so good. I was like, I'm, I'm going to get that physically. I'm going to get that. So I can't wait to read this. I need to read Between the Seas and Stars. Which I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. <laughs> and I need to read that though. Uh, I think I'm going to read that first. Then I'm going to read this. And then she also sent me A Winter Dream. Which is a Nutcracker retelling. Which is coming out on the 27th. So I'm probably going to read that first. Since that's since Between the Scenes already came out. But A Winter Dream hasn't come out yet. And that comes out November 27th. So I'm probably going to read that first. To have it read before the release date. And then backtrack to Between the Season Stars. I don't know when I'm going to get to this, but it sounds really fucking amazing. So if you're into like the Greek mythology kind of thing, I recommend this. Even though I haven't read it yet, it sounds really good though. Then when I opened the box, I got nervous because I picked it up and I was like, hold up, I'm missing. I, I, I thought it was, when I picked the books up, I thought it was only one book in my hand. I'm like, I'm missing a book. I'm missing a book. But they, it was both the books was in my hand. But the first book that's in here is a book that I actually got for Kalea, and that is P is for Potty because we're trying to potty train. She's not really doing it. It's not that she sits on the toilet and she plays, but she doesn't do what she's supposed to do on it. So it's not like she's starting to fit like she doesn't want to be a part of it, but but she's not. Okay, you can have Elmo. You're welcome. But she's not doing what she's supposed to do. So I figure maybe she reads about it and she's really into Elmo. And she sees Elmo's doing it. Maybe <laughs> she'll do it. And be like, well, Elmo does this. So I'm going to do what Elmo's doing. So maybe it works. I don't know. I have to see what's her language. Okay, so the books that I have in here. The first book that I picked up was... Well, no. I'm a, the first book that I saw. And then I'm going to tell you the book I thought was missing. The first book that I saw was The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. When I picked it up, I picked it up just like this. The back was facing me and I had the other book that's in the box under it. But I thought it was just this book. And I'm like, I'm missing a book. Where's the other book? But 
this is a newly release. This is uh, one of the books on my most anticipated releases that I didn't get. I was supposed to get it when the Polodex came out, but I never went back and got it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get it now to try to see how many books, I, how many of my 2018 releases I can read before the year is over. I think it's kind of like the Salem Witch Trials kind of mixed with the craft kind of like. Um, it's about these three girls that were accused of being witches and killed back in the day and the spirit comes back to this town every year and chooses three I guess like weak-minded able-bodied girls to uh, to possess and take over and then the bodies that they're in they use them to lure a boys to the lake where they were drowned and they pretty much kill the boys um this goes on every year and you know it's gonna happen every year and i feel like if you know this is gonna happen every year and you know this is the thing why do the boys fall for this every year if they know that this is what's happening maybe it's kind of like maybe once i read it maybe it's kind of like one of those things that's like just like a, a myth and everybody thinks it's like a story and it's not really true but it really happens maybe it's that kind of thing going on but i, I don't know but it's a pretty small, pretty cute book. Like when I took the thing off, because I always look at the dust, I gotta take the dust jacket off and see what the actual books look like. I was like, oh, it's really cute. Like it's got stars all over it. That's really freaking cute. I just thought that was really adorable. I'm like, yeah, that's that's nice. If I ever lose a dust jacket, I won't be 100% mad because the book itself, the naked book itself, is really cute. Then the final book that I had that I was freaking out that I thought wasn't in the book is a book that's on my November TBR. And that is Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Letitia Smith. I don't know if I say her middle name right. I don't think I did. But this is the book that I'm reading this month for Native American Heritage Month. And it follows this girl. I'm not going to look in the book. I can't remember her name. But it's followed this girl. She's in high school. And she's Native American. And she's going through all of the high school drama times 10 because she's Native American. So it's, it's different for her than it is for everyone else. She's going through her heartbreak that she broke up with her boyfriend because he made slurs against another Native American in front of her. So she broke up with him for that. And then there's this play that's going on. This uh, play for the Wizard of Oz. And I guess they cast Native Americans in the white people spots that, that's supposed to be white characters, but they cast Native Americans. And the parents of the school are outraged that this has happened. So then it's that going on. Plus she ends up falling in love with I don't know who, but it's not someone that's Native American. So it's, it's just, then she has to go through this drama of her dating wild native. So I can't wait to see to read this book because most Native American heritage books that you find and this is also a book that came out this year that I just recently found out about I think in October because I was looking for other Native American books because most Native American books that are out are like older books it's not anything recent so I'm glad it seems like this year a lot more Native American books are out in the front than it has been in recent years and I'm glad this is following like a, a young adult It's following a teenager and most Native American book are already you know following adults and it's adults telling their you know telling their biographies and their stories but this is I like that this is a YA fictional book I like that it, and I like that the character is Native I like how it's set up you know like you don't find too many that are like this so I'm so excited to read this book and it is so adorable and it's cute. I love the cover. Like I love this cover. Like it's simple but I like the color on it. Like you know what I mean? Like it's not anything that's like out like outrageously like with the images. Not outrageously graphic but it's really really cute. Like it's I like that it's just a girl in a t-shirt with feathers on it. Like you know like it's simple but it's a it's done really good. It's cute. So I can't wait to read this and I really hope I enjoy it. I really hope I enjoy it because I really want to recommend this to people because I just, I feel like it's going to be amazing. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have read any of the books that I have talked about or heard of any of the books that I've talked about, I would like to hear about it in the comments. Um, if you have any recommendations for me, also put them in the comments. I'm always looking for book recommendations. Like I would love to uh, to, rec to have a book recommendation. Also, it has nothing to do with this video. I'm still looking for somebody to buddy read Reaper at the Gates with me by Shabba Tahir. I'm going to read it when I probably next month when I'm done 11 63 but I would like to read it with someone if not I will read it by myself but I would like to do like a buddy read because I'm really trying to 
psych myself up to read this book because I don't know if Sabah Tahir is going to kill off people that I love, which I know she is, but I just hope it's not somebody that I'm too attached to, but I bet it is. I know it's going to be. Like, I feel it. You just feel it in your soul. She's that kind of author that's just rootless and doesn't care. So I would like to experience this with somebody else and not read it by myself if you guys are looking for somebody to read that with if you've been waiting to read it. Like, I'm so down with it. Okay? But yeah, that's everything. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!